Well, good morning. Welcome back to Clayton Schick Outdoors. Of course, I'm Clayton Schick and you know it. Look at this. This is the outdoors. I'm still up at Keenanow Lodge chasing fall lake trout. Actually, it feels more like summer lake trout at times just because of the way the water temperature's been. 56 degrees, I think is the warmest it's gotten. It's 55.5 this morning, meaning it's not cooling off much at night either, but that's okay. We've been, we've honestly been hammering fish. We just haven't scored anything really big yet. The average size here though is like amazing. Low 30s, steady, 34 and a half is the biggest. If you haven't watched the first two videos, they're linked below. I highly recommend watching them first before you watch this one. But like I said, still up at Keenan L Lodge. I just kind of pushed off the dock here. It's like 7.39, so sunrise is in about 10, 15 minutes. So I'm a little bit late, but not bad. Today, all day troll. I told myself I'm gonna troll for one day and then I have another day yet tomorrow, which I'm gonna go back to casting again. But for the most part, I've only been able to get them to eat smaller baits casting. So I think to start with, we're gonna troll something like a Super Shad. Although I'm gonna spend some time with a T60 and some line throughs and some other stuff. But obviously our biggest priority is to put fish in the boat, but we are chasing a monster as well. So let us get going. Got a crooked hat. That's okay, because I don't wear this hat very long anyway. I should not be able to wear shorts here on October 2nd. I should be shoveling snow out of my boat. That's what we're missing. If I don't score a big Laker this year, I'm coming back next year. Do a little bit of everything today in terms of holding the rod, keeping the rod in the rod holder, etc. It feels weird after using, after using a 10 and a half foot rod trolling for walleye for so long to using an eight footer here now. It feels so short. Got on a super shad wrap. It's a great trolling bait because you can troll it fast, you can troll it slow. It just tracks so well. Keep my drag a little bit tighter when I'm holding it and then when I put it in the rod holder, I back it off and I'll explain why a little bit in that sense. But when you're trolling, you don't have to have a cranked drag. When they hit that bait to start with, they usually get hooked pretty quick and those hooks are so sharp, so sharp. Sharp, sticky hooks when trolling. And a lot of times you're grinding amongst rocks and whatnot right now. So keep a file handy and check your sharpness every time you kind of bring it in as well. Gonna work a bunch of different depths, lots of shoreline likely, some humps that I've charted over the last few days. Like I talked about in the last video, auto chart is such an amazing tool. Like the amount of water that I've covered and been able to figure out because of auto chart so far is mind blowing. I'm getting bored. Okay, let me rephrase that. I'm not getting bored. I just had so much fun casting. I can see myself going back to it. I can really see it happening. I, I could troll all day, I could. But it's so much fun casting for them. Like so much fun. Oh yeah, I troll for an hour, nothing. I 
I'm gonna cast a little, a lot. I honestly had more fun casting. I'd rather honestly catch 33, 34 inch lake trout casting than I would a 40 inch lake trout trolling, believe it or not. I had way too much fun yesterday. This is good. I'm glad I did this for a bit. Just to know that I tried it, but I got a cast. It's just too much fun. Very, very slow start to the day. Very slow start. Real talk with Clayton. It's 11.17. I've caught exactly this many fish. That's zero. If anybody is visually impaired, zero. It's okay though. Both of the last two days, first day I fished half a day, just the afternoon did good. Yesterday, morning I caught a couple right away but then it was pretty slow for the most part and I thought maybe it was spots but maybe it's just what's going on in terms of this time of day so I'm going to take advantage of it and help or how should I say build my map more look at some new areas all that and then once I figure maybe it'll start happening again I will then start hitting those spots over that I'm looking for right or that I'm, fi I'm finding or mapping out new areas that type of thing I'm kind of jumping back and forth what i'm talking about but not to say you can't like tough it out and catch one here and one there right but it just something's different right now i'm not seeing anything either i'm not seeing them crawl in the on the shoreline any of the humps that type of thing they're just non-existent at the moment so they're somewhere and they're grouchy and they're grumpy that's just obviously the reality when it comes to fishing that it's not always going to be amazing i've always said for every epic moment there's like a hundred non-epic moments or more maybe okay we're getting creative we're officially trolling with weight we're trying to get down a little bit deeper i just feel like the fish aren't shallow right now today especially like yes there has been fish shallow over the last few days but i don't know we're gonna try for a bigger one for a little bit I've got zero, I've got zero, I've got zero, zero trout. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. Three o'clock, been roughly fishing for six and a half hours, maybe, maybe almost seven. I've caught exactly zero fish still, but I'm not quitting. This is fishing, some good days, some bad days maybe a good half day yet coming you never know right i still got like four and a half hours almost five hours to fish if i wanted if i want to push it right to the dark right to the bitter end so not quitting i've trolled i've casted small baits i've casted big baits i've trolled different baits i've done a lot of different stuff 
going back to tickle tail right now. My, my biggest confidence bait. It's not over yet. There we go. There we go. We got a lake trout, baby! Only like how many hours into the day? Unbelievable, we did her. We got a lake trout. We got a lake trout. It's not over till it's over. I did her, I got one. 3.30. It took the 3.30 to catch my first laker. I wish I could say it was big, but it's not. Oh, all this work, so worth it. So good. Well, not big, but not small. Like too big to eat for sure. It's probably 27, 28 inches. and just gone like that. Are you kidding me? Back to back cast? Are you kidding me? I don't catch a lake trout for, for how long? And I just go back to back cast. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's crazy. Took me forever. And this is a nice fish too. This is a nice one. This is a good one. Wow. Unbelievable. Just like that. Never quit. Never quit. <laughs> oh, baby. Just like that. Back to back. Maybe they're going to turn on. Beautiful fish. Wow. I can't believe that. Things, everything happens for a reason. Now, if I just can land it, if I can just land it. We have worked so hard today. Like I've probably showed in the video, it's been a struggle bus, but that's part of it. It's not always gonna be amazing. Nice fish. Man, hope I turn my head camera back on. Yeah, it was on. Okay, okay. Typical Clayton, checking footage and cameras before Worrying about the fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. I think this is my new PB of the trip. Come on, buddy. Come on. Oh, did I lose it? I hooked on the net. I gotta do Clayton, you donkey. Oh, come on. Come on. Excuse the awkward net angle. Excuse the awkward net job but I wrapped him in the net and I had to twist. I had to circle the net around and yeah. Oh, that was a gong show. Third day in a row, gorgeous. I was saying, third day in a row that I've caught a nice fish. Today's been tough though. Like I said, I had that awkward net job on him so I'm not even going to measure him. He's probably 34, 35 inches, give or take. Beautiful, beautiful fish. Unbelievable. Oh, the best back-to-back -back cast. Oh yeah, so much strength. See ya. It's that net job. Awkward. I went too soon and I got it caught in its lip, the corner of the net. I had to like flip the net around and get it in the mesh. I know musky guys will do that if they like rim a fish with the hook. They'll like reverse the net. Hard to do, but definitely possible as you can see, back to back. <laughs> it's been a struggle. I'm just like, don't quit, don't quit, don't quit. I know I showed it in a previous video, but this is kind of like the rock structure that you're looking for. And notice how it's got no moss on it. I found that the lake trout really don't like the rocks with moss on it. I don't really know the whole thing behind that maybe their eggs get lost but this right here looks like nice rocks beautiful 
This all looks Okay. Yeah, see? This all looks good. There's obviously some fish here. <laughs> it scared me. I was trying to talk. That's a fish. I thought it was the bottom. I didn't get the best hook set. Didn't get the best hook set on him. But I think we got him. My drag's weird. My drag's doing funny things. Holy. Okay. I thought that was the bottom. Why is my drag doing weird things? It's just, oh, it's just that tight. Wow, he's gone. I have to switch this reel. I think I, I think I blew up this reel. Wow. Incredible. Come back to me, baby. It, this was the longest run I've had out for a fish. Come back. I thought that was the bottom. Good thing I got a sharp hook. Oh yeah. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Well, I see why it pulled some drag. That is a beautiful fish. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Amazing. This is a good fish. I see why it was pulling drag. Come on. Oh. Well, for having a slow start, we have definitely turned it around. Big tail. Easy, easy, easy girl. What side are we gonna net you on? Right here probably, hey? Eh? Beautiful fish. They just bulldog straight down. <laughs> Another high caliber fish. Oh, look at the tail on that thing. Amazing colors too. I'm gonna grab my net here and get it ready on this side, I think. Yeah. I think I need to switch this reel out though too. Drag was doing weird things. Easy, easy, easy. Yeah, I don't like that. Your drag should not jump like that. I'm pretty sure I blew this reel up. Drag should not jump. Oh, easy girl, come on. That fish went for a fun run to start with. Man, the power. Their power is the best. Dare I say, dare I say, oh, no, 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 no. Dare I say that I think I just be, maybe broke the PB the trip again? Come on, yes. That is not easy to net by yourself, that big net. Beautiful fish, beautiful, unbelievable. Yeah, baby, <laughs> 36 and a half, unbelievable. It is an awesome colored up fish. A little bit chunkier than some of the other ones too. Well, I guess it's also the longest one I've caught. Look at the head on that thing. Oh man, these lake trout are so much fun. So much fun. Oh, the best, the best. Wow, thick fish, lots of power. See ya. Well, safe to say I need to switch the reel on that rod. Your drag should not go It should be a smooth pull. I'll have to get it sent in and get it fixed. Wow. Well, I'd love to be filming with something else. I really would, but I've struggled through everything. Like the back of my boat is full of rods. I've tried trolling. I've done everything. This is the only thing I've been getting them to eat. A 4.8 inch tickle tail with the Kalen's Google Eye jig and look at the glass eye is knocked out and I don't even care. I knock off the back little tickles there just to give the tail a little bit more action. And all I've been doing like the last, literally like just like the last couple of videos where I've scored, casting it out, letting it sink and just reeling it in slow. I've been fooled I think four or five times now thinking it's the bottom in terms of like, as I'm reeling my rods just loading the same as like it would if you were stuck on the bottom. And I just keep letting it load and all of a sudden I'm like, no, that's a fish. And then follow through with your hook set. So, oh, unbelievable. Switched reels out here. So we should be good to go. I think that one is 
I don't know, I blew the insides up or something. It happens, right? Yeah, that reel's gone hard the last few days. This rod has been amazing. I talked about it in the first video, but I haven't covered it at all in the last video. It's a 7.6 medium heavy power, 12 to 25 pound line. So I'm running actually a 30 pound braid, which is like a 10 pound diameter and then a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader. So it's not like, it's not the heaviest rod, but it's handled all these Lakers quite well. You need something a little bit smaller to be able to throw a half ounce jig, right? Like with the bigger baits, of course, I'm throwing my swim bait rods, but you have to find that happy medium of something that's strong enough to be able to handle a good size fish, but also light enough to be able to throw a, a light jig. So it's been a struggle bus today, but well worth it. You guys have kind of seen the ups and the downs is probably what I'm gonna title this video, the ups and downs of lake trout fishing. And uh, yeah, like it's been, it's been a grind, but I just haven't quit. Like lure's been in the water a lot today. I looked around for maybe an hour in some different areas and stuff like that and just got a feel for everything. Did lots of trolling to start with, a little bit of trolling mixed up in between too, but just been chucking and chucking and chucking and working some areas that I found over the last couple of days. Being able to have three or four days is really nice. If I was here for one day, I would never be able to find what I've found so far. So I'm excited. It's been good. Like I said, I, I wish I could do this with some other baits, but I can't really make the fish eat, right? Like I just have to put it in front of their face and hope they will. <sighs> what a day. Like even though this has been my slowest day so far, this has now been one of my favorite days because of the last couple fish. There we go. Nice, nice. Awesome. Pretty close to the boat too. Love these things. Still got some daylight left. It is six o'clock. I was going to give up here in a little bit, but I thought, you know what? Let's pick a brand new shoreline. And I have a shoreline that I haven't fished yet at all. And look at fish. Just taking my time using the autopilot on the Minn Kota. Autopilot is so slick. Set it on like one and a half, two. Press the autopilot. Let's make small adjustments and just go down the shoreline. Bing, bing, bing. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm not going to net you, my friend. Beautiful. Tickle tail munched right in the top of the mouth. Beautiful fish, like a, I'd say 29, maybe 30. Thank you, my friend. See ya. Nice. Just another gorgeous fish. Man, we've turned this day around in a hurry. Unbelievable. Unbelievable how much we've turned this day around. So good. Put my talon down. Never got a good look at him, but I don't think it's that big. It's just another quality. Strong, strong, strong fish. Tell you what, with these single jigs, like one hook, you just keep every fish pinned. This is my 25th laker on this trip. I've had one fish come off. Unbelievable, yes. So good. There's a reason why I wait sometimes to fall the fish these lakers. Their colors are just the best. The best. Am I gonna net you? I don't think so. If I lose you now, it's okay. I could have netted you, not a big deal. I can't believe, like honestly, I think, I bet you 85% of the fish are over 30 inches. Okay, there, perfect, perfect. Okay, I didn't even have to bring that one in the boat. I've showed off so many Lakers, it's not really that big of a deal at all. I could have netted it, didn't need to. Another cookie cutter, 30 inches, something like that, you know, awesome fish. The only thing we're missing on this trip is just a big old donkey, like a 40 inch donkey. Shoreline, shoreline, shoreline. Something with a pretty sharp drop off seems to be the best where it goes from like two to 10 feet. Seems like they've just kind of been ambushing their prey for the most part. 
Now, not to say that's always going to be the case, but that's just kind of what I'm finding. They just sit there and they wait for the bait to, bait, <laughs> bait. They wait for the bait to come over the top of their head. And then in my case, it seems like they've been following it for a little bit and they come behind it and then just suck it in. Now, obviously, if I was using a bigger bait and they're more aggressive, they'd probably hit it with more force. Right now, it just feels like a lot of the bites, like some of them, it's just all of a sudden weight. Some of them are smashing it, but some of them are just like all of a sudden there's weight on the end of the line. So basically, they're matching the speed of the bait, getting behind it, opening their mouth, a little push forward, closing their mouth, and then just kind of keep swimming, right? They're not like... They're not hitting it and turning quick like uh, the last fish did. He like hit it and turned fast. That was a fish. It was not the bottom. Yeah. The fish came back. As soon as it hit the water, it exploded hit it right away but I missed him and I just kept going at a nice speed and he came back oh unbelievable what an end to the evening oh. I went from no fish from th at 3 30 to six fish at si 6 30 unbelievable beautiful fish very cool I knew that was right away. I was like, I know that was a bite. It wasn't a rock. It was like instant something just bang. Oh, strong fish. I know I covered the specs of this rod before, but I don't think I said what it is. Savage Gear Black Ops and look at, <laughs> I've got my drag pretty tight on this fish right now. I'm tiring it out quick. I could loosen it up a little bit and let him run, I'm sure, but unbelievable. This just doesn't get old. Does not get old. Strong fish. Probably should put you in the net. You're a little bigger than I thought, actually. They're nice, not giant. But in, we're gonna put you in the net, I think, my friend. It's a big net for one person. Okay, there we go. You guys get tired of seeing lake trout yet? Cause I'm not getting tired of catching them, that's for sure. <laughs> what, what a trip. Guess this same lake is for real. I love it here. See ya. Ignore all the electrical tape on my hat. I blew it out. At about, I don't know, an hour ago or something like that. So I have to put nice electrical tape. And just like that, the trip is over. Wait a minute, Clayton, you said you had four days. Well, this is actually day four. Let me catch you up to speed. Yesterday's video, which is the one you're watching now, was a great day, had a beautiful ride in, a lot like this, glass calm, spent the evening around the lodge, got up nice and early, headed out with one goal in mind, throw big baits to catch big fish, and I'll roll a couple of clips of what happened first thing in the morning now. Big fish. So it was off to a hot start, a nice chop, cloud cover, everything like that. It's smoky right now. It's actually not cloudy, this is actually smoke. But a nice cloud cover this morning, nice chop, fish following, lost a big one, it was awesome. And all of a sudden it just went like glass calm and the wind switched and I checked out some other areas and I threw a smaller bait for a bit and I caught my one and only fish of the day, another beautiful like 31, 32 inch lake trout. Honestly, these fish up here are unbelievable. But that was the only fish I caught. I stayed pretty committed to a big bait today. I checked out some new areas. I, I struck out and it's going to happen when you come up here, right? You're not going to score every day. Even if it's on a guided trip, you're probably not going to score every day. You're going to have good days. You're going to have bad days. It's all good. It happens, right? But sadly, there's only three videos for this series. I was hoping there was going to be four, but hey, it's the way it goes. So thank you so much to Chris and Cheryl from Keenan All Lodge for having me. They do have two packages available, an all-inclusive package where they cook all your meals for you, guided trip, 
Uh, they have a nice motel area there that you stay in and then they have another package for a do-it-yourself which is a cabin with like two lofts, uh, another room, kitchen, everything like that so you can come do it yourself. I'm not sure when this video will air. It'll be pretty close to the end of the season. So if you're interested in next year, make sure you give them a call. This October books up usually a year in advance. So if you want to get in, call them now. And honestly, this lake trout fishing is mind blowing. I hit it a little bit off this year for sure. This is some of the prime dates right now, beginning of October. But as you can see, I'm in shorts. It's 56 degrees, the water temperature still. You're looking for that 51 to 53 degrees for water when they start pounding the big baits, chasing them, all that fun stuff. But don't get me wrong, the fishing was incredible. Like I caught 27 lake trout in four days, three and a half days actually. It was awesome. I had to work for them, but it was so much fun. So that'll wrap up this series. I still have some more open water left yet. I'm going to go on a hunt for some walleye yet, I believe to Tobin Lake and yeah I don't know what's what, what else is coming up yet ice fishing is just around the corner it doesn't feel like it right now but it should be coming soon so thank you so much for watching this series don't forget to give Keenan Now a look their website will be in the description below give them a shout and make sure you get up here and go lake trout fishing and as always don't forget get outside